Welcome, we are live at Betting on Sports America at the Meadowlands. And we're sitting here with Lindsay Slater from Geo Comply. And Lindsay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much. Can you share a little bit more about you and about Geo Comply? Sure, um, my name is Lindsay Slater. I'm the VP of Regulatory Affairs for Geo Comply. GeoComply is a geolocation service provider um, working not only in sports betting, but also online casino, poker, lottery, daily fantasy sports, advanced deposit wagering, so on. And the significance of borders. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay, well, here in New Jersey, there's over, uh, over a dozen sports books that are currently online. Uh, over 80% of the online bets that are happening are taking place within 10 miles of the border, and almost half of those are taking place within two miles of the border. Uh, so when you think about the geolocation technology that goes in behind those systems, um, ensuring that they work correctly will ensure that uh, you're able to capture that entire player base so close to these borders. With those percentages, what does that mean in regard to economic impact, and also when you're estimating tax revenue? Yeah, well, I mean, if, if you think about all those people that are so close to the border, if they're unable to be geolocated, um, confirm that they're in fact in the state and, and legally eligible to wager, if you're not able to capture that audience, then online sportsbooks simply wouldn't be able to accept their bets or um, realize revenues from those players. Let's talk in a little bit more detail about the technology of GeoComply. How mm -hmm. accurate is it? Um, well, you can say if you're, you're thinking about your phone, GPS capabilities, anywhere from a few meters to maybe 50 meters. Um, but you can very well say that you'd be standing on the banks of the Hudson River, um, looking across at Manhattan and absolutely be able to play. What does it mean in regard to crossing borders? Um, well, the geolocation technology is designed to uh, locate users dynamically as they are betting on sports and engaged in a mobile app or on a, a, mobile, on a sportsbook website. Uh, and as they approach borders, get closer to potentially leaving the state, the frequency of those location checks uh, will speed up and make sure that they cut off the user before they in fact leave the state. What are some of the biggest obstacles that face GeoComply in regard to a technology standpoint? Um, well, I would say definitely for the user and for the operator, um, communicating to the player uh, how geolocation works, that they need to have things like Wi-Fi and GPS turned on on their phone in order to be able to play, understanding that there is this legal requirement and it's a part of the experience that they need to uh, familiarize themselves in order to, to pass these checks before they, they place their bets. It's an amazing tool for states that are legalizing sports betting. Mm -hmm. It's a necessary tool. Yes. What is the downside? Uh, the downside, I, I guess, for everybody that isn't in the state, uh, they're not able to play. I mean, there's federal legislation like the Wire Act that uh, requires that all bets are, are placed physically within the confines of a single state. So if you're in an, a neighboring state and uh, you, know, you, you want to play, you're going to lose out unless you physically come here to New, to New Jersey or wh whatever state may be contemplating sports betting. And we think about this in regard to sports betting, how important geolocation is. What's the future hold, say in the next three years, for this technology? I, I would say there's going to be different versions of what's required for geolocation. Um, adapting technology to maybe uh, unusual bits of legislation related to sports betting. For example, in Mississippi, you have to be not only in the state, but inside a casino property in order to be able to play. So using creative technology and hardware inside a casino property to make sure that someone is cut off as they step out the front doors of the casino um, is, is a huge operational challenge, but technically possible with the technology that's emerging. There might be somebody listening to your interview right now. Out there <laughs> some master in technology, and they're saying, I can hack it. What's your response to that? I would say that even the FBI can get hacked sometimes, right? Nothing is 100% foolproof. Um, what, what federal and state legislation requires, what state gaming regulators require, is that uh, reasonably designed systems are put in place to, to stop you know, every conceivable scenario. Uh, and the great thing about online is that everything is trackable, everyone leaves breadcrumbs behind. Um, so there's a lot that goes into geolocation technology, not only in terms of real-time checks, but analytics, uh, historical uh, review of player data, 
to uh, recognize fraud when it happens and, and throughout the course of user session. And again, it's Lindsay Slater from GeoComply. Uh, Lindsay, before we say farewell, are there any last final thoughts you'd like to share with those listening? Oh, well, thank you for having me. I, I would say geolocation is a, a tiny but vital piece of the uh, of, of any sports book. Um, as, a, as a player, it's definitely a challenge um, that they may need to overcome when they, they first download their app. But once they are where they're supposed to be, um, they understand the rules of the game are, they, they shouldn't run into any issues uh, no matter how close to the border they are. Thank you. Thanks very much.